Hello everyone out there on Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. It's me, John, and today I have a special guest here, my son Rudy, and we're going to be eating some bananas for you. Now, bananas are one of my son's favorite fruits, but up until today, he's only ever had one type of banana, and that is the Cavendish or Cavendish banana, which is the one that's most likely found in stores here in the United States. Um, Typically, if you run into, run into a store and you pick up a banana, it is a Cavendish banana. But did you know that there are many other types of banana that us here in the United States don't really get that much chance to find? Well, thanks to a company called Miami Fruit, I have obtained some fruit from them. I'm going to be doing two videos to show you them. The first one is this one where I'm going to show you all these lovely bananas over here that I have uh, got to try. Now, the first ones I'm going to start with are these little teeny bitty ones. Someone really wants to try them, so I'm going to have to open this up real quick. This banana is called the Thousand Finger Banana. And as you can see, they're very, very small, very tiny. Look how small that is. And the banana tree uh, has a big trunk, and the trunk is basically filled with these little bananas all over. So, we're going to have Rudy here try some along with me. Good, right? This one tastes very similar to the Cavendish, maybe a little bit sweeter, but it is bite sized. Now, moving up from there, let's go for a bigger one. Here we go. This guy, you're gonna get some, don't worry. Uh, this one, I uh, don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it's called the Pisang. Raja, or maybe Pasang Raja, and this one's pretty rare. Uh, as you can see, it has a lot of freckles on it, and it's kind of like boxy shaped around. Let's go ahead and open this one. Don't worry, you're gonna get some. Here you go. This one is a bit like, looks more doughy, a little more pillowy. Wow. The flavor on this one is way different than a Cavendish. It one's a tart, almost like a green sour apple flavor to it. Very tart. Sweet, tart, delicious. Here's a little more if you want. I'm gonna try these, all these. He might be a little too full by the end to try all of them. Here's one that you might have seen in your store. This is called a Red Cuban. Sometimes I've seen these in stores. These are very distinguished because of the color. Now I open this, it should also have like a darker yellow, more of an orange color than other bananas that I've seen. Now since it's red, the only way to tell if this one is ripe is actually by judging its softness. And that goes for most bananas, even if they're green, even if they're yellow, you're going to get some is how soft it is. There you go. See, this one has a slight tint of orange to it. And this one's more creamy. 
almost pudding like. And less sweet, I would say. Moving on, let's try. <laughs> let's try one of these guys. Another small banana. And these smaller ones, I may mix up the name, so try not to correct me. But I believe this one is called the Nam Wa. It has a very thin skin to it. Oh, this one's really good. It has like a candy flavor to it. Oh my. There you go. You're a lot more of that one. This one's my favorite so far. It's like a perfect combination of, of sweet and tart. Very candy-like. Nam moi. Let's do another smaller one. This one, again, the smaller ones I might have mixed up. But I think this one is called the My Soar. M Y S O R E. Let's go ahead and open up this banana. All of these I got in the same box. This was a sample variety box of bananas. This one's a little more chewy. Not as sweet as the Namwa, but uh, chewier. Not soft. You almost see the little seeds inside there. Some bananas actually do have seeds. It almost tastes like a, like a Macintosh apple. Let's go to the next smaller one. Patience is a virtue, my son. I believe this one is called the Sweet Heart. Another one with a thin skin. Oh, a very sweet smell to this one. Here you go, buddy. Very soft. This one has a lighter flavor. Almost like a white grape. Looks more that one. Yeah. This one definitely is the sweet tart. Because I think it's called sweet heart because it almost tastes like a sweet tart. And that's what that one kind of reminds me of. Moving on to another one. I got three of these, and I believe that this one is called the Gold Finger. Let's go ahead and open this one. This one has a little bit of tougher skin. color is kind of golden, so maybe I, I am right with that one. Hold on. Here we go. Look at the color on the inside of that. This is more orange on the inside than the red one. This is definitely the least sweet, I would say, out of all the ones we've had so far. Mm. 
A little chewer, chewier one. You want to try some more of that one? Here you go. That one's all right, but probably not the best. Now, let's see. I've tried all of them except for one variety. And that is, uh, I believe this one is called, again, I could have mixed two of them up. But I believe this one is called the Manzano. And all the ones that I have for the Manzanos are still mostly green. So I'm going to try to pick one out that is the softest. And if they're not sweet, then I'm just going to chalk it up to not being ripe. But I didn't want to wait till this one was ripe because some of them were getting over ripe. I think this one feels the softest out of all of them. Let's go ahead and try this and see. Oh yeah, this one I'm thinking is not going to be quite ready. Very stiff, almost smells cucumber like. Oh no. Bitter? Not ripe. You have to wait on these for a while. So as you can see, thanks to these bananas that I'm trying from Miami Fruits, they give you like a little ripeness guide when you buy fruit from them. You can go to the website, they have more than bananas, they have tons of tropical fruits that you can't get anywhere else, and they'll ship them right to your door. Want some more? There you go, buddy. They have the banana variety packs. They will send you whatever bananas are currently um, fruiting and ready to be packaged out. I got one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight different types of bananas in my sampler pack here today. Gonna have to try those other ones much later as they are definitely not ready yet. But all the other ones are really good. Um, I believe it was this one. Yeah, it was one of these two. See, these ones are really hard to tell the difference between. I think it was this one. Really good. I think I called that one the Nam Wah. It tasted like candy. Very, very good. You want some more? Yeah, he does. Hope you liked this video as much as he liked eating all these bananas. Give a thumbs up. Like the channel, subscribe. Until next time, bye.